No, please. No but way. Even though is I'm just so fucking so good. I think Haaland is yes. overrated. Oh my so. god. Rory Jennings of our podcast. Let's go. Let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> is there yeah. a Liverpool player in Manchester City? I thought of this. Uh, yeah. Yes. Doku. Hmm. Doku. Yes. Well, that's, there's only one right answer. Anyway, yeah. 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 I was going to say Doku too. Perfect. I think this is a this was a quick one. Easy. Don't need to discuss yeah. it. Uh, we'll probably get to him in the later segment. So. And anyway, uh, Phil Foden. Phil Foden. No, please. No I'm way. Even uh, is, I'm is just fucking so good. This, oh wait, wait, wait! I didn't. My I, my phone just stuck. So I I I actually had a different answer. My answer is actually Haaland. I think Haaland is Ooh. overrated. Oh my god. Rory Jennings of our podcast. Let's go. Let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think like uh, what is the def- again? What is the definition of overrated? At this point, Haaland is considered to be the goat striker. People say that he's the he can possibly be the greatest of all time and all that shit. That's just not true. That is just not true. He's he still has the numbers. What are you he saying? He has the like, numbers and but in the pe- he's like he's like striking, a remote right? control striker made for Pep's team. Like he's like engineered for Pep ball. He's and that's he pads his numbers against Luton. And yeah, Bournemouth yeah. and like he, Forest. He's had zero zero XTs oh. against top teams, dude. Like this season, this people have figured out. You know, the part of the reason of Man City is I wouldn't call it downfall because they're still up there. But uh, part of the reason that they're not uh, obliterating everyone is because people have figured out how Haaland is. Like Pep has got him. He has to use this tool. But people have figured out he's static. He's not uh, that good at uh, uh, you know hold up play. Pepe tried many different things. He had ha- Alvarez do the hold up play. He tried Haaland himself do the hold up play. Now they're playing more from the wings. Uh, it's just not. He he's great at finishing. But other than that, he's been overrated a lot. I'm not saying he's bad footballer again. He's oh. one of the best in the no, world. No, of course. But overrated. So don't you think? Don't you think it's a, lo- a lot of his deficiencies stem from the fact that he's he has no supplier. In KDB yeah. or like a KDBs player, dude, they have so many other suppliers. Man, it's not like they're starving, dude. They have like really lethal wingers. Yeah. They have uh, mid creative midfielders. Okay. They have everything. You know, you don't, you you can't rely only on KBD, KDB, right? They have they have Doku and Foden playing, right? Like, I so. think the the big teams argument is also harsh because the two players who found him like completely nullified him are Van Dijk and Saliba. Hmm. Arsenal and Liverpool these are the only two teams and probably Aston Villa that day but that day the whole team was shit like so i think it's also you're comparing against arguably two really great defenders like Saliba is still like he will go that distance we all know he's going to be great like Van Dijk level so it's one of those things that were like you know great good strikers will also come again come up against like good defenders sometimes they get better of them sometimes they don't this season maybe that blip Zero but, XG is a little oh, too bad, but yeah, oh, yeah, sure. Harsh. I'm, I'm just saying, dude. Last yeah. season, at the end of last season, people said he's the best Premier League striker ever. Like that is, yeah, that was, that was, you know, that yeah. is overrated. Yeah, but yeah, go on. So you're call, you're not call, you're still not calling him a one I, season wonder, are you? Before we continue further, if you're enjoying the content, please leave a comment and tell us your favorite part of the video. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. We have loads of such things lined up. and we're excited to share it with you no no not at all he's not a one season wonder dude like he's he's going to score goals <laughs> i'm just saying like from last season he's a little bit overrated that's it that is yeah, okay it. let me ask you this at the end of his premier league career hmm. do you think he will he will have been he would he will be a better player than theory onry was at arsenal Theory I Henry, think he never will be a better player mm, than Theory Henry. I'm sorry, Theory, but like he'll never be a better player than Theory Henry. This is Newcastle fan. What, what, is, what are you saying, bro? Are you so passionate about Arsenal, dude? <laughs> not, not because, of, not because of my problem, but so, just because of the overall play Theory Henry. Yeah, was. I mean, this is there's I mean, a difference, right? Uh, okay, okay, AJ, sorry. Not I'm, comparable, yeah. I'm I'm going to take over he for two be. minutes and just ask yeah. one question. I'm going to take over for two minutes and ask one question. Let's let's rank Haaland and. Ha- like t- where we perceive Haaland will end in Premier League, he'll probably stay for another two, three seasons at least. Yeah. Right. And will will he or won't he be a better striker than Drogba, Van Persie, Henry, Rooney, and Aguero? Uh, Van term- Persie for sure. Like, he'll be better than Van Persie. Considered be considered better than Van Persie. Yeah. Mm. Me, yeah, uh, for sure. Wayne Rooney, no. 
No. Uh, Thierry Henry, no. No. Who's the other one? Drogba. Uh, Aguero. Drogba. Aguero, no. Aguero and Drogba. No. Drogba, Drogba no. I'm a little torn because Drogba was a colossal beast. No. Like, he was a great striker. But he had, like, his... Uh, no, Like, bro. he didn't have a great no. goal scoring. Drogba used to decide games on his own. Nah. Agreed, agreed. That, yeah. oh, that's that's what that's where I was going to come to. Like, he wouldn't be better than Drogba. But, like, single goal scoring season, yes, for sure. Like, he had 50 better than everybody else. Drogba never had, like, a lot of high scoring seasons. But his overall, uh, you know... Everything that he brought to the table was much more than uh, Haaland ever would. Mm. At least up until he's in Premier League, if he's not here for a, at least five, six more years. So, yeah. I would say last of the lot. Maybe our Van Persie. Van Persie. This is again just Arsenal hate. Van Persie had one season. season. How's, how's that thing, bro? Van Persie had two seasons of uh, goal scoring uh, geniuses. Yeah. Before that, he was yeah. injured in Arsenal yeah. for so long. Haaland can't beat that, right? Obviously, you're comparing yeah. Van. You can't even compare Van Persie to the other folks that he talked about. Drogba, Rooney, yeah. that Thierry Henry. You can't compare True. Van Persie to that. Yeah, and, very, but, it's a very I, objective ranking to be honest. It wasn't a fan base ranking. No, but uh, no, no, also, I'll give it to you. I if think you want to talk about style better. of play and everything, like for visually, Van Persie, like for sure, for me, yeah, my favorite player ever. Yeah, but I think no. availability and total form yeah. throughout the seasons will also count because hmm. you're also wanting to see longevity, right? Because Haaland was insane last season. Yeah, to so that same argument. Also, right? a so, lot yeah. depends on Pep. So, like, yeah. But for me, I think why Haaland is such a high for me is because I've never seen someone like live up to their initial fame. When someone's yeah. hyped up that much, he walked in and just started scoring like 20 goals in 15 mm. games or something. People are just so, scared. Okay, I'll, ask guys, I'll ask you guys one this question. Just on up until now, his career, Haaland, uh, Suarez and Torres. How would you rank these three? <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? Like, I mean, it's uh, just not in terms uh, of trophies. Goals Suar- for them, right? Suarez, Torres, Haaland. Ah, to- oh, above, below Torres, bro. Like, come on. Dude, Torres was insane for Liverpool. I mean, for Liverpool. Again, he had a career after that in the Premier League. He had, in the least, Premier League, right? he had at least three, four uh, really good good seasons. So, if Haaland... Uh, <laughs> no, I think... I, I would Dude, say the- Suarez, Haaland, Torres. I, I mean, can, I can live with it. Different I can live with it. I can live with that. So Suarez was definitely at the top, right? Yes. Let's Suarez, be... Suarez is the best, one of the best strikers in the world. Suarez, like, I think, scored some twenty goals against Norwich. I remember every time looking, <laughs> <Suarez, laughs> there was a like, four-goal banger from Suarez. Hat-trick king. I can never forget that match. Insane, beautiful goals. All four beautiful goals. Cool. Wow. 